Hi, I am Jurko and I am 3D printing stuff as a hobby. And uh, for the last few years I was using Prusa Mark III S Plus. Uh, since lately I have uh, Prusa Mark IV and uh, I am I'm really happy with it. However, lately I tried to print a flexible filament on my Prusa Mark IV and I had some issues with that and I want to share with you what went wrong and also share with you some of my ideas why it went wrong and how I'm planning to fix it. Let's go! So what happened? The first issue that I had started just when I tried to load the flexible filament. In this case we are talking about FiberLogy FiberFlex. Uh, this is a 40D shore hardness filament. When you check the hardness scale you can see that this is still considered to be a hard material but still it's flexible and I feel that it's on the softer side. And I started to have problems just when I tried to load it because the printer would load some part of the filament but then when it was reaching the nozzle uh, it seemed that the printer couldn't push it through. So I, I recorded the video, I shared it on Reddit because uh, Prusa Forum's website doesn't handle videos uh, that well nowadays and uh, there were a lot of answers and uh, neither of the answers helped me but some people were even saying that uh, you know Prusa printers cannot automatically load flexible filaments or, or some, some other things but I think that the most prominent answer was that I, I should use Ender 3 and this answer was downvoted and rightly so but it explains my issue really well because I'm not saying that you cannot 3D print flexibles on Ender 3 um, I'm just expecting some ease of use from Prusa products and it usually works and I didn't really have such issues with Mark 3 I could just go and print maybe it wasn't perfect but then I could play with it calibrate some things and uh, get better results but but I didn't have an issue that I cannot load filament so that's why I rebuilt my Mark III in the past it was in an enclosure so I had to bolt on the power supply unit and uh, run the wiring again and so on and then I tried to print the same filament with Mark III and it worked. So I thought that maybe I can make videos side by side so you can get an idea what kind of issues are present when I print with Mark IV. Because also maybe people on Reddit just didn't understand from a single video what is, what is going on. So we will look at the videos, we will discuss what is happening on the left hand side you will see the new mark 4 on the right hand side you will see the mark 3s plus that i was running for a few years they are printing the same model which is uh, sort of a calibration cube a relatively simple model because i didn't want to print something super special even something like benchy uh, but i still wanted something that has a bit of special details and texture and I wanted something relatively small so I can uh, print a few of them in a, in a short time and see what's going on. So when I was recording videos I started with loading filament and uh, to my surprise both printers handled it absolutely well uh, so I was surprised about that but I thought that maybe in the past I just did something wrong with my Mark IV. So after I successfully loaded the filament I just started to print the calibration cube and it's important to note that Prusa Slicer has a predefined setup for this FiberLogy FiberFlex filament which I think is great so I used the 
the same uh, config on both sides. So on one hand it's good that someone already predefined config for this filament. On the other hand it's great that I can kind of use that predefined setting on both sides. And when I started to print the first layer Mark IV absolutely failed to, to print it. Uh, but when I looked at it, it seemed that it was trying to print much faster and in the config I actually noticed that the config for this filament differs between Mark IV and Mark III. For Mark III the maximum volumetric speed is 1.5 cubic millimeters per second while on Mark IV it's 4 cubic millimeters per second. Um, so I reduced the max volumetric speed for Mark IV and also I matched the setting for the nozzle temperature to 230 degrees Celsius which is on the higher end of what this filament should be able to handle but then again I thought that maybe uh, Mark III melts it more so it's easier to push it through it's also important to notice that I'm running on the same uh, 0.2 millimeters layer height. Uh, I changed the Mark IV settings to use the same gyroid infill. Both printers have a nozzle X, which also kind of equalizes their possibilities. Also on my Mark III I have a Dragon hot end, uh, which may be actually closer to what Nextruder has if you compare it with the standard E3D V6 hot end. Anyways, I printed the model on Mark IV again with the reduced speed as I mentioned and uh, the result was much better. The first layer looked great. Uh, when I am trying to sync the videos you can still see that they are slightly off because probably the printers have different configs of the maximum movement speeds, maximum travel speeds uh, and so on. I didn't really play with that uh, but they are close enough I would say. Just after Mark IV printed uh, several millimeters of the model I started to see that it's under extruding, I started to see gaps in the layers which was definitely not good and uh, to fix it I actually grabbed the, the filament from the top of the extruder and just pushed it with my two grabbed it with my two fingers and pushed it into the extruder and then the print recovered the layer line started not to have gaps and started to look nice so again I, I had always this feeling that Mark IV doesn't have enough strength to pull the filament through as it couldn't push it through the nozzle and here it, it was the same issue it's also important to notice at this moment that the experiment is not perfect also in a way how the spool is mounted because I had my uh, Mark III just sitting on the desk and using a classic uh, spool holder which comes with it by default and for Mark IV I have it in the original enclosure and I feed the filament through a hole in the top and although the hole is lined with PTFE and the spool holder turns really well on uh, on ball bearings maybe this thing also brings an additional bias to how these two printers work uh, but essentially uh, two printers managed to finish finish printing uh, sadly for, Mar for the model printed on Mark IV you can see that it has under extrusion with the naked eye it doesn't look that that nice and when you compare two models you can easily feel while holding them in your hand that the model that came from Mark IV is lighter although they had to be almost the, the same uh, weight and also the, the model which came from Mark IV is much squishier because it has less mass so it's, it's less stiff, there is just less, uh, less uh, uh, TPU in it. So after I managed to print the model but uh, the experience was not that bad I tried to rerun the loading experiment again because I thought that maybe on the first try I was just lucky and uh, there is some some probability to when uh, the printer manages to push through the filament and uh, 
On my next try it failed, so now you can see side by side my first try and my second try. And you can clearly see that uh, Mark IV manages to load some amount of filament, but then it gets stuck on the level of the nozzle. And in this situation what I did, so I didn't push the filament through, I actually pressed on the, on the idler door that squeezes the filament between the driver gear and the kind of the, the idler bearings or whatever you call them. And uh, sorry, I had to cover the, the extruder with my hand, but I just squeezed on the door and then the printer managed to pull through the filament. So my main idea is that there is this, this door, this latch that you can open for servicing, but also it has uh, two, two bearings that push against the uh, feeder gear and that actually pulls the, the filament to the, uh, from the top and feeds it into, into the nozzle. And uh, I don't know why on the Reddit people said that uh, you should uh, loosen the screws so it doesn't really, you know, squeeze the filament too much. But the thing is, I, I just don't get how, how, it, how it can print. Like it has to, to move filament, it has to have some grip. Okay, and when I squeeze the, the plastic latch, uh, so probably it bends by a fraction of millimeter and uh, that's enough of the displacement to actually grip the filament well and push it through. And uh, the thing is, it doesn't matter how much do I tighten the, the bolts that should adjust the, the pressure of this latch, uh, because I feel like there is a part of the latch which just... Uh, pushes against the metal frame of an extruder. So, you know, if there was slightly less plastic on, in that area on the latch, then I could pull it closer to the, to the body of the an extruder and to the feeder gear, but I cannot just because, you know, it, it blocks itself. It rests essentially on the metal part. And also you can see inside of my uh, extruder of the, of the assembly that uh, grips the filament that there is no, that the filament didn't bundle into a knot or something that people from Reddit was saying, no, no, it's, it's completely fine. The, the printer just cannot pull it through. Uh, in the end, I did one last test. Again, to check how strong is the grip of the printer gears, uh, extruder gears on the filament. And I essentially heated up the nozzle to the printing temperature of the filament. And then I just pulled the filament out with my hands. And uh, on Mark IV it was super easy and uh, you could even feel that it just slips out. And on Mark III it was actually harder and you could feel that probably uh, it also turned the, the motor itself because it couldn't escape the, the teeth. So I think that the problem is in this idler latch and uh, it's a 3D printed part. I will try to modify it and print a new version and uh, so stay tuned, probably I will make a new video telling uh, what, is, what is going on, how did my experiments went through. But also, you know, I, I still could use my Mark III uh, to print what I needed. I was experimenting with printing uh, merit badges for, for PLAST, which is Ukrainian, Ukrainian Scouts organization. And uh, this is my, my main way how I interact with a 3D printer. Occasionally I need something and uh, then I go like, okay, now I print this stuff. I print polycarbonate, I print flex, I print PLA. Um, it, maybe someone else has another experience. For example, you have a setup of a printer or five printers that print certain things. Like now usually I get an idea and then I want to make it work. And in this case, Mark IV let me down. Uh, but again, I'm not 
blaming Prusa too much because I, I don't know how many people really are printing with this filament um, and I don't know if it's like that for every uh, 3d printer or not so let me know in the comments below if you experience the same issue with your mark 4 if you have mark 4 if you have mark 3 let me know if uh, yours is printing as well as mine uh, but anyways anyways uh, thank you very much for watching stay tuned for the for the second part if i hope i make it and uh, have a nice day cheers <laughs>